No man's an island, except when he's having a bath. But what if a man was an island? What if you could isolate some men and ladies from the world? Six years ago, I advertised for volunteers to come and stay at my isolated mansion. Perhaps for a bit, perhaps forever. My name is Dr. Lovett, and this is my asylum. Hi. Somebody's ordered a pizza and they're not claiming it. And you should be interested in my experiment here. Simon, imagine a painter and decorator being surrounded only by Renaissance art. Or a politics graduate and allowed them only to watch daytime television. A bug-eyed bank clerk and allowed him only to listen to Lenny Bruce records. How about a flamenco singer made to take a vow of silence? Well, that sounds interesting. I expect you're all looking forward to seeing your friends and families someday. I am not mad. I'm just a pizza boy. Well, actually, I'm not. I'm not just a pizza delivery boy. Right? I've got an A-level in social psychology. Welcome to New Hall. You see, when a man shaves his head, he often finds nooks and crannies of which he was first unaware. Well, imagine my surprise, Doctor. When on shaving my head, I discovered another face. One which told me things, strange things, horrible things. When did you shave your head? Yesterday. That's grown back pretty quick, hasn't it? Well, I'm from Swarthy Stock. And what did your head tell you? It told me of the pack of dogs that live in my eyes. Dogs? We don't allow dogs on the ground. I hope they're well trained. No. No, they do their dirty feces everywhere. Can't he put newspaper down? Well, I've trained them to come out and do it in my ears. They must be very tiny dogs to fit in your eyes. They are Irish wolfhounds. I am in a great deal of pain. And what do you think these wolfhounds are after? They are the dogs of genius. They howl. They howl, Doctor. Howling. Incessant howling. All night long, keeping me awake. And what are they howling, Victor? An exhibition. Exhibition, Victor. Ah, yes, the exhibition. Now, I know I promised you a private view. Yes. But I was lying. But I want one. My paintings, my masterworks, they're in the attic, reeking of dust. I suppose your friend will want to come along as well. No, he's dead. I suffocated him. I slept on my back by mistake. Sleeping. That's what you need to do, Victor. Put your feet up, put the dogs out, and let me worry about the exhibition. I've got some new medication for you here. Now, you might find yourself sleeping a bit more with these. In fact, up to 24 hours a day. Such sweet colours. Yes, they are like sweeties, aren't they? But make no mistake, that is your medication. From the pills drawer. This is the sweeties drawer. Pills right, sweeties left. Right? Right. It's a good job I'm in charge, Victor. Because if these got mixed up, Goodness knows what would. And so you'll, you'll go ahead with the plans for my exhibition then? Well, I'll take that as a yes. Right, that's your sale, weirdo. Morning, doctor. I was watching, I was talking to him asleep last night, saying, the doctor's in, the doctor's in. Doctor? Doctor, wake up! Doctor, wake up! Wake up, doctor! Doctor! Oh, sorry, I should have not. Oh, no, it's fine. It's the doctor. He's out cold. Oh, how many times? Sweet is right, pills left. He's going to be out for a while. It looks like we're going to have to take over again. Oh, shit.
Good morning. It's time for your workshop. Today we're going to play a therapy game utilising role play and communication skills to aid your psychological development. It's called Give Us a Clue and I'm going first. <clears throat> Force 10 from Navarone. Yes. How'd you know that? Mm. <laughs> All right, big bollocks, you're next. Twenty-seven words. Whole thing. Uh, 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 can't cook, won't cook. No, one blow over the cooker's desk. Turn about, turn about. Got it. What's up, it's Madhouse. No, it's it's got it's something like the dark light of the manky fudge pocket. No, I, going for gold. It's going for gold. Oh, I've had enough of this. What is it? It is Marat Saad, the persecution and assassination of Jean Paul Marat by the inmates of the cell under Chauhanton under the direction of Marquis de Sade. Nobody likes a smart ass. You, the woman. You haven't told us what it is. It's warming up. Um, it's a television pro television program. Sorry, I'm not I'm not allowed to speak. I'm not going to speak now. I'm not going to speak now. It's a television program. TV. TV. Um one word. One word. Small word. Small. The and ah, it can't get smaller than that. <laughs> it's a small man, small man who um, I found in my room. <laughs> basically, listens to everything I say. There's thousands of them all over the room now, just listening to me now, <laughs> which is why I can't, I can't tell you what my <laughs> program is. Oh. There's a fine line between paranoia and egomania, isn't there? And you're dancing on it. <laughs> These little men who listen to you. Hmm? No, they don't. They listen to me. Because I'm better than you. I've got one. Me. Go on then. Sit down. <clears throat> Film. Seven. 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 Now that was funny. Oh, very funny. What was funny? That was funny. I'm funny. That was funny. That was funny. And I should be getting more paperwork. I don't really understand. That was funny. Yeah, that's right. Because you're the you're the one. You're the bank clerk. Yeah, he's the bank clerk. You, the doctor, locked you in a room with lots of Lenny Bruce records, and consequently you believe that you're a comedian. You, well, you believe that you're Lenny Bruce. No, Lenny Bruce. He nicked my act. He even nicked my catchphrase. Good evening. My name's Lenny Bruce. That was mine. And even that whole drug overdose thing. I did that at the store in about '89. This ah, oh, it's mine. Whatever. Idea. Come on, young one. You do one. Uh, born free, uh, presumed innocent, mystic pizza, the, the jerk, song, uh, freezer bird, um, happiness by pizza man. Look, it's everybody's got something to hide except for me and my monkey. <laughs> oh, very good, good, good choice. Okay, uh, Johnny Foreigner. Look, one word. Whole thing. Crap. <laughs> Bang it. What is it? Come on, tell us. <laughs> he can't speak, can he? Oh, Victor will know. Victor, what's he saying? There are no words to describe what he's done. That's not bloody good to me, is it? Come on, spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> that was not funny. Listen, I'm never going to have to sleep tonight unless you tell me what it is. Come on, you dopey bastard. What was it? Don't tell me. What is it? What is it? What is it? Speak to me, you. Come back home. 